Now, people are accessible here. I've met many uh, great people, John Legend for one, or or uh, I don't know, I go, I could look through my book and tell you because of Art Basel, uh, you, you meet so many people like Tashin and others who just come down and uh, Donna Karan, I, I, I don't know, I can name a million yeah. different celebrities and people that I met, you know, through the uh, osmosis of uh, going to parties and events and things of that nature. Um, but uh, the reason I came down here was because of a really interesting story that I was supposed to have a show in Cincinnati at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And uh, they banned um, Robert Mapplethorpe's work at that thing. And they said, well, uh, the, the uh, curator, Christina Orca Hall said, listen, you're up next. If you want to have a show here next, but I have, I have either been resigned. I don't know what which way it went, but either she resigned or they fired her. I'm not sure. But she said, you're more than welcome to, you know, you're next. So if you want to have a show here, you can. And I said, Christine, I'm going wherever you're going, because you know what? It may not be my aesthetic homoerotic art, but I do believe in the First Amendment, which is this person's entitled to uh, uh, make and show whatever it is that that person is interested in doing. It may not be, but you have to accept people for for their for their artistry in whichever way they want to go. And if you want to dismiss it and say it's not for me, then you're entitled to say it's not for me. Anyway, because of that. She said, well, I'm going to the Norton Museum. And I said, okay, I'm gonna go where you're going. And so I had a show at the Norton because of her. And the people there, and this is 1991, they treated me so nice. I said, and the weather was so, what am I doing in New York with snow over my head? I'm going to move here. So I took my family and I moved to Boca. And we've been here ever since, 30, 33, 32 years, going on 33 or four, I, I, you know, half a lifetime already here. It's crazy how time just marches on. But that is why I came here. And in terms of like, you know, connecting, well, I had two shows at the Bob Rauschenberg Gallery at Edison College, which is called something else now. Um, and that was a major, I met Bob in 1978. And I said to Bob, Bob, I would love to, he was working on uh, a project with uh, Merce Cunningham in New York with the Merce Cunningham Dance Company. And I said, Bob, I'd love to be your assistant or I'd love to work with you. And he says, well, that's very kind of you, but I'm working with another artist. I said, well, who is that? He says, Jim Dine. I was like, well, <laughs> okay. You know, so, but he never forgot me. And I wound up having a, a retrospective show in 2003 over there. And then I had another show in 2009 called Auto Motion, where I had a residency at Alfred University in New York, of all places. And I made these iris prints, one off iris prints of utilizing old technology from the beginning of the 70s to current times in 2008. And I merged those two things together and I produced these prints and they were just absolutely extraordinary. And I still have a few left actually from that time. Most of it was sold, um, but that that having that show and being connected with Bob Rauschenberg, who was you know died a billionaire, but he also died a philanthropist to so many people, and people didn't know that back. Then, that was when art was really, to me, at its peak. When Bob would do an edition, it was sold out before it even was made, and people just clamored for the art because it was real art. It was real, and Bob's work was extraordinary. So. I have to say that if anyone, they say, well, who is your inspiration or whatever? I will tell you that I saw Bob Rauschenberg's bed at the Museum of Modern Art and it changed my life. I said, you can do that? You can actually paint on a pillow and a blanket and just like, and then he had this goat head that he painted. I thought it was 
and it was evolutionary. So it spoke to me in the in the way of like I'm doing something completely different that people have no clue about digital art, electronic art. No one even knew the the, the digital camera wasn't invented, and I had this idea and. You know, it took me a lifetime. And I said that at eight years old. I said, you know, I'm going to be an artist. I'm going to be a famous artist, but I know it's going to take me a lifetime. But I had no choice to do it. There was nothing else. I, you know, that was my mission. I knew that was my mission right away. And, you know, here I am. I'm still on the mission, still doing it.